All right, so I've seen a bunch of comments about this and I decided to actually make a big, big tutorial. Now, before we go any further with this, just know that this is only available to do on PC. You can only do it on PC. You can't do it on PS4. You can't do it on PS5. No Xbox, no Xbox One. You cannot do it on consoles. This is only on PC because I see a lot of people asking me, how have you done this? How do I do this on console? You can't do this on console. So I'm just putting this out there before you spend uh, an hour of your time watching this video. I don't know if it's going to be an hour, an hour of your time watching this video and then realize that it's only for PC. So now that that's out of the way, let's take a look at what you guys are going to need to create your own club. There's a lot of steps, so hopefully you guys can keep up, but I'm going to try to be as in-depth as possible and show you every single thing from start to finish. What you're going to need is the FIFA editing tool suite. I'm going to be putting a link to this in the description down below. It's made by the FIFA editor team, and this is just a great way to edit all the stuff, get uh, maybe some other mods into your career saves into FIFA if you'd like to. What you're going to need is the editor and you're also going to need the mod manager. You're also going to need the encryption key. Now, I don't remember where I got it. It's been the same encryption key since FIFA 19. I'm going to see if I can maybe make like a text document in somewhere and actually post it in the description. If not, you can literally just search up online and find the encryption key and you'll be able to find it. It's been the same one since FIFA 19. So you need that. You're also going to need the DB Master 15. It's been the same one since I guess FIFA 15. This is the one that I've always used and you're going to be able to download it from the link in the description, either Mediafire or Mega and you guys can actually just go ahead and download that. So those are going to be the two things you need to actually edit the club edit the names in the game edit all the stuff you want to edit and all the stuff that i'm going to be showing you after we get through this intro you're going to want to use the fifa 21 kit creator if you guys want to make them i don't know some other way i have no idea how you would make them but i'm going to show you maybe a little bit of a tutorial of how i make the kits and all that and you're also going to need the team kits editor over here on the left hand side which is going to open up this that's going to be used in another part in this video but those are going to be the four things that you actually need the editor the mod manager you need the encryption key that i'm hopefully going to find a way to put in the description if not you guys can check it out somewhere on youtube and come back to this video the db master the kit creator and the team kits editor now just like a little bit of a warning you're not really adding a club into the game you're just you know saving over another club in my case in the nobs fc career mode i saved over spal so you guys can just decide which team you'd like to choose and let's start by opening up the FIFA editor tool. Right now I'm on 1.03. The newest version is I think 1.04, but it, it doesn't really matter. It's gonna be the exact same thing. And you're gonna have to go ahead and actually find the club that you wanna save over. So what I did is obviously choose any team from the rest of the world. I happened to end up on Spal because, I don't know, I just felt like Spal was the way to go. And that's what I'm gonna be using for this tutorial. I think the best thing to actually use is teams from the rest of the world because some of them can be playing in European competition like I think sometimes Sparta Praha and Spartak Moscow end up in Europa Leagues and Champions League, you know, group stages, but Spal would be in Serie B. So Spal is the team that we're going to choose. I'm going to need to keep one thing in mind when actually doing this, and that is the ID of the team. So I'm going to provide you guys with a Google Doc sheet that is going to have everything. So you're going to head over to teams and what you're going to do is search and you're going to search for Spal. Spal is going to have the team ID of of 112791. You're going to need to write that down somewhere. Keep it in mind. Anything I know it by heart because the amount of times I did edits to this, you guys are going to need to keep that in mind. So 112791, you guys are going to need to remember that for this entire thing. So you're going to need to open the editor tool and remember the ID you actually took down. So it's 11 two seven nine one go to content character then you're gonna see badge don't worry about that go to kit kit underscore numbering and then it's gonna give you spell underscore one one two seven nine one this is gonna give you access to the kits the crest the everything the shorts where I'm going to show you guys how to actually do that once we get to that step. But I'm just opening up, showing you that you're on the right club. You're on Spal. You can see their kits. You can see their branding. You can see their crest and all that. Now let's go to where we're actually going to start changing the names of the team and everything about it. 
head to the Legacy Explorer and search for ENG underscore US. Now, I'm using ENG underscore US because I play on the English version. If you guys play on, I don't know, which version of the game, you this may actually need to be different for you guys. But what you're going to do is type ENG underscore US, go to LOC, LOC, and then you're going to see three things pop up. What you're going to need to do is export the English underscore US dash meta. So let's export that. If it becomes too much to follow, guys, just pause the video. Come back to the parts you'd like to see. So export it. English underscore US dash meta. I'm going to maybe repeat things sometimes just to make sure that you guys actually understand it. Save it. Then what you're going to need to do is actually export the DB file, not the H file over here, just the English underscore US. Remember, if you're using any other language export that and it's going to be as a db file so save that and then the step one of changing the names is done you're going to need to go ahead and open db master this is the other thing that i actually put in the description down below once you've extracted it installed it on your computer put it wherever you feel it is a good place to put it and open it up now once on db master yes you're going to be taken to something like this go ahead and click open db file i'm going to go to my tutorial folder you're going to see the x XML document that I had you export the first time. Open that by double clicking it. Then it's going to prompt you to open up the English underscore US file. It's going to load the database. And there you go. Everything in FIFA you'll be able to see here and you'll be able to even change things you'd like to change but right now we're trying to change spell to whatever team you guys would like to now how you do that now once everything's open come down to language strings one click that and what you're going to need to go ahead and do is actually type 112791 which is the idea of spell check on the drop down menu, not source text, not hash ID, you're going to check string ID and click fine. So that's going to bring you to everything about Spal. As you can see over here, it says CM underscore bio underscore intro 112791. And as it reads, Spal, better known as blah, 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 was founded in 1907. You can go ahead and double click that. This is a test. So <laughs> once you've done that, get off of source text, go back to string id and find the next everything with the id you guys are going to want to change so it goes spa over here whatever your team's name is you change that this is the abbreviation uh mine is going to be nobs fc for tutorial purposes so nfc what you're going to need to do is once again go back to string id click find it's going to bring you to the next thing about spal this is team name abbreviation but this is basically just team name i'm gonna rename this nobs oh sick i'm in capital letters nobs fc enter keep going till you edit everything about the team now you go down to find the next one neighborhood name rione giardino that you can change it to whatever i still haven't changed the city name in the nobs fc career mode so i'm gonna go ahead and leave it undecided go back up to source text hit string id search for the next thing team name spal Change that once again to whatever you'd like it to be. Nobs FC. Enter. Once again, string ID. I know, guys, this is tedious, but this is what it takes to make a club in FIFA 21. Once again, spell, change it to whatever the team name is. I'm going to put Nobs FC once again. You can change the career mode bio fact and everything. You can change everything. So when you load up a new career mode, it's going to say this club is being founded because of tutorial purposes so you guys want to get creative just do anything you want you make it your club that's exactly what i did with the nobs fc career mode and then once you've done everything as you can see it goes back it says this is a test so we're pretty much done nfc which is nobs fc as you can see nobs fc once again over here and if we go to the next one it says undecided because that's the team neighborhood name and then once again team name underscore one one two seven nine one nobs fc so we're pretty much done with all of this abbreviation once again as you see everything is good so what you're gonna want to do is save this save the file and it's going to overwrite the file you actually exported from the FIFA editor tool. And once it's done saving, you can exit out of DB Master. We're going to come back to it. So it's, it, you're not done using DB Master for now. But for right now, we're actually done with this. Head back into the FIFA editor tool. And where it says English underscore US or whatever language you guys actually use, you're going to go ahead and import. 
and you're going to import the DB file that you just modified. So as you can see, 7.19 p.m. or around 7.19 p.m. So it shows that it, it worked. So once you import that, you're going to have a little bit of a star over the English underscore US. That means it's actually uh, overwritten. So all you need to do is go ahead and save this. I'm going to save this as a tutorial for you guys. Just save it as whatever you'd like to to save it as remember to save as often as you can because when you're dealing with mods a lot of things can go wrong and i found that I, I found that out in the past i've had to redo so many mods so this is one of the things i can tell you right now is just save all the time so just to see if everything works we're gonna go ahead and launch fifa with mods you can see at the top right over here we're gonna see if it actually shows nobs fc over spal as you can see right now this is a good sign if you see spartak moscow spa slavia pra and there's no spa it means you've actually been able to change it so nobs fc this is a test they currently compete in Serie A tim that's going to change whenever whatever league you actually go to the highest tier in football league system of italy the club is being founded because of tutorial purposes so we can actually go ahead and actually start something to see if everything has been changed the table all of that in game nobs fc versus parma if we actually go ahead and maybe check out the standings the table we're gonna see that it's gonna show us there we change the competition right there city at tim you're gonna see that nobs fc is in city so Part one of this is done, exit out of FIFA, and let's head into part two, which is going to be making the kits. I'm going to show you guys exactly how I make kits and the best way to actually make kits for your teams. Everything right here is done. There's still a long way to go because there's a bunch of mini kits to change. There's banners to change. So there is a long, long way to go, but we're going to start off by actually fixing up the kits. I'm going to go ahead and make like a basic, basic kit just to show you guys exactly Exactly how I do it on the FIFA kit creator it literally gives you everything you can change the brand of the shirt there's all these sponsorships whatever you'd actually like to do Fila Copa Diadora there's literally everything next page there's Puma there's everything so you choose what sponsor you'd like anything you'd like to see and just make the kits of your dreams as you guys see i obviously have the nobs fc logo so there's that i can import if you'd like to import a sponsor you can actually select a preset but you need to join premium so you can upload your own sponsor you can upload your own back sponsor you can upload a logo on the sleeve on the right sleeve on the left sleeve then when you come over here to the kit you can change the colors you can change the base colors and make sure you keep in mind which color you're actually using right now we're going with yellow black shorts this is just as basic a kit as it comes so we're not going to do anything more to this maybe just change the sponsor puma to black as you can see the nobs right here we're going to upload that and this is going to be our kit so remember one thing Number one, remember the color that you're going to be using. Whatever color you use here, you're going to need that for future reference when you actually put it into the game. So let's say we go ahead and put color number 15. We're going to remember what color we actually use because I think this one actually really does look nice. And number two, you're going to have to remember the hex of the color that you're actually using so go ahead and copy that and this is done what you're going to want to do to actually export the kits is at the bottom right hand corner there's a little download button so click download textures make sure you have winrar or winzip or whatever you use to unzip things and save it go ahead and extract it into the folder you're actually going to be using so everything's in the tutorial folder make sure to keep everything organized we're going to save it as a new folder and there you go as you can see, everything's right here. You're going to get the blank for actually replacing the logo and the crest and the sponsorships of the teams. As you can see, you get a coef file, a color, a normal map, and a TAA. I just call it TA. So <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what, what it is. A mini kit to actually show up when you're browsing the menus. As you can see, it has the color, it has the sponsor, it has the, the crest, it has the sponsorship, and it has the jersey color. Then shorts, coef, color, normal, TAA, coef of the socks, color of the socks normal map of the socks and taa of the socks so you get everything you need and now to actually import it in 
to the club you want to replace. Head over to the FIFA editor tool right now. I guess we're going to use this as the home kit. I'm not going to show you the goalie home, the away, the third kit. You guys can... It's the it's the exact same thing as replacing the home kit. Open everything that is a texture asset file. So texture asset of the brand, the crest. So open those two up. The COF of the jersey, the color of the jersey, the normal map, the TAA. Open every single thing till you get to the TAA of the socks. And now here comes the tedious part. As you can see, everything over here is open at the top. Where it says brand jersey, you're going to go ahead and actually import the blank. If you'd like, you can actually start importing sponsors, but you already did it on the FIFA kit editor. So import it blank, import it once again on the shorts import it on the crest on the chest and import it on the crest of the short so now you're done with the logos the brands and all that i like to save after that so make sure like i said save as often as possible what you're going to want to do now is import the coef which is the files you actually got as you see you have four for the kids so import the coef come up here go to jersey color you're going to go ahead and import the color of the jersey. Don't mind the armband. We're going to be able to fix that to whatever you'd actually like it to be. Import the normal map, which is right here, jersey underscore normal. And then as you can see, if we hover over to the right over here, we have the TAA, the taw of the jersey. Import that in to there so now you're done with the jersey now let's have over to the shorts you have the exact same things to do import the coef import the color import the normal map and then just do the exact same thing for the socks so once you've finished importing the last thing right now you're pretty much done for the kits but if you want to see the mini kits actually show up, you're going to need to head over to the Legacy Explorer. If you'd like, you can save and close all these tabs, but I'm going to keep them open. Now, you're going to search for the jersey, the mini kit file of Spal. Zero is the home kit. One is the away kit. Two is the goalkeeper kit. And three is the third kit. So J0 underscore. Remember the ID that I had you guys remember from the beginning. 112791. So after you've done that, UI image assets kits and as you can see it is the spal home kit so once you once again you go into import import the mini kit and as you can see right here it's imported same thing if we'd like to see the away kit it's going to be j1 underscore 112791 and obviously if there's a there, there's definitely a goalkeeper kit but if you search for j2 underscore 112791 you can see the goalkeeper kit if they have a third kit which it's available but <laughs> you can't see it in game i have absolutely no idea why you can see it right here so zero is home kit one is away kit two is goalkeeper kit and three is third kit so after you've done all that save it now we're actually going to go ahead and check out and see if it actually shows up in game i know there's a lot to get through but keep saving keep checking out if it actually works you want to do it once and not have to do it seventeen thousand times like i've actually done in the past it's going to take a while to actually launch but once you've launched you're going to see that everything actually works out and we're going to be able to move on to the next step so we edited the team name we edited the kits now we're going to go ahead and actually take a look at the kit in full detail Detail. what i like to do is actually come here and do edit real player and actually show up on spell and see exactly how it looks so if you have over to the rest of the world tab if i can actually find it we're gonna go ahead and take a look at nobs fc right now the goalkeeper kit is not changed but as you can see we do have the kit on the player so yeah step one of the the kits is actually pretty much done as you can see we have the lettering it's honestly a generic number but this is where you guys are going to be able to actually change it as you can see as well on the shorts it's black on black so to either get a fix for that you change the shorts to whatever color but i'm going to show you a way to change everything from the numbering on the shorts to the lettering on the back to the numbering on the back so decide on the color you want i'm going to stay with black but what you're going to actually need to actually change this from this font to a different font is the other thing I had you guys open, which was the team kits editor. So that you're going to need to go back to the FIFA editor tool, come back to the legacy explorer tab. As you can see, I'm doing everything from when I closed everything and type FIFA underscore 
N G. So it's going to give you a DB folder. You double click that. You're going to have FIFA underscore NG underscore DB dash meta, an XML file. And we're going to have ourselves another DB file. You're going to need these both. So go ahead and export them exactly like I had you guys export the database, export it to your folder, wherever you want to save it, anywhere that it's easy for you guys to see and export the FIFA underscore NG underscore DB. Now head back to DB Master. That's why I said there's a lot of steps. It's very tedious, but in the end, you guys are going to be able to play with your custom club. You're going to go ahead and open DB file. So you're going to go to your file. You're going to select FIFA underscore NG underscore DB dash meta. It's an XML file. You open that. You also open the FIFA underscore NG underscore DB and wait for it to load. You're going to need to export something once again as you give it time to load the database. I'm going to show you this entire thing. This is how long that it takes. And that's why I keep saying it's tedious. Loading Intelli dash edit. There's a lot of things to load, but once you get through it and you get everything going, you guys are going to have your custom club in FIFA 21. So as you can see, there's a lot of things going on over here. What you're going to want to do is it's right here. It's from the beginning. You can see it. Team kits. You're going to open that. And then you're going to come over to the green little arrow. It says export single table and export all tables. You guys are going to want to export just the single table of the team kits. Now go ahead and check your folder tutorial. I saved it in kit because we're dealing with the kit and you're going to save it as a .txt file. It's already there for you. Just save it. Open your team kits editor. The way you get to that is by clicking these four little lines over here and opening the team kit editor, which is going to bring you to this page. Click open at the top left hand corner. Go to your tutorial folder or whatever folder. Open team kits. Now, once that's open, you guys are going to have access to every single team in FIFA 21. Now, this is a good way for you guys to actually pick up like a reference. So let's say you want your team to be in the Premier League, choose maybe Arsenal or Chelsea or Everton, Liverpool, any team that's in the Premier League, because you're going to be able to see the numbers, the fonts that they use, the, the shirt name, the short number, the shirts number, and literally everything you guys would like to see. The captain's armband, number 13, left sleeve badge, number 13. I'm going to apply that to your team. So we're editing Spal. So let's go ahead and search for Spal, 112791. You guys are going to remember that number till the day you guys die. So open the home kit tab. And as you can see, these are the numbers that we have on the back of our shirt. So you don't want those numbers. You Let's say you're playing in the Premier League. You want the Premier League numbers. If you're playing in EFL League 2, you want the EFL numbers. If you're playing in Serie A, there is Serie A numbers. So remember that. 112791. Search up Arsenal because, yeah, Arsenal. Search up Arsenal because that's what you want to base yourselves off of. So, Captain's armband is the same in the Premier League. So, you're going to want to take 13 for the armband. Whatever the left sleeve badge is, those are the Premier League patches. So, you want them on both sides. So, left sleeve badge, right sleeve badge, and Captain's armband. Go back to Spal. Open it once again. Home and change the Captain's armband to 13. You're going to go ahead and change the left sleeve badge to 13 and you're going to change the right sleeve badge to 13 as well. I'm only doing this as like a template because I guess we're going to be putting our custom club in the Premier League. Whichever league you guys want to go, go ahead and search up a team from there. Let's say you want to put yourself in La Liga, base yourselves off of Real Madrid and whatever other team you'd like to see. So remember when I had you guys actually take into account the color? Caller 15 we used. If you'd like to actually have it show up in the game, put Caller 15. As you can see, we have the collar, we have the captain's armband, we have the left sleeve badge, and we have the right sleeve badge. So we're set on the badges, the armband, and all that. Now, if you'd like for your team to show up its appropriate colors at the bottom, this is where you're going to change it. Where it says Color 1, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the color we're actually using for our club. So we're going to copy it and paste it into color number 1. You're going to tab to the next one, color number two, and you're going to put it also on color number three. I wouldn't mess with, you know, percentages and all that. I haven't really touched it. And there's honestly, I, I don't even know what that does. So just put the color everywhere. And now let's move on to the shirt name. Head back to Arsenal. 
check and see which shirt name they have. They have the shirt name number 18. So I'm assuming that's like a Premier League, you know, font. If you guys would actually like to check it out, go ahead and open up the game. But I'm going to use 18 for the shirt name. For the shirt number, we're going to use 95. And for the shorts number, we're going to use the number 16. So hopefully I'll actually remember that all 18, 95, 16. Change the shirt name from, from whatever it is to 18. We're going to go down to here, 95. And shorts number, it was 16. So as you can see, right now it's changed over here. And maybe you guys don't want it black. But for right now, we have a yellow kit. We want, I guess, black accents. We're going to choose the shirt name as black. I think that's okay. You guys, if you'd like to change it over here, you can click and it's going to show up. You guys can, I, I guess, hover over whatever you want. But I'm going to leave it at what it is. Let's actually do that. The shirt number, we're going to use black. And we're going to have the little Premier League lion, I'm assuming, as white. That's what we're going to do with that. On the shorts, they were black. So what I think I'm going to do is actually make them white. You can actually change the little outline as well if you'd like it to be white so as you can see we made everything white you can literally do whatever you guys would actually like to do and i wouldn't mess with like the placement and the placement over here i'm pretty sure it only goes from zero to one so if you want to see the shirt name in the back you put one if you don't you put zero but don't actually quote me on that if you guys would like to you know check it out for yourselves do it and actually have fun with this make your team the way you want to make it so now that we've done that we've changed the color we've put the captain's armband we've choose the color we've done everything the color of the shirt name the color of the shirt number the color of the shorts number you guys are gonna go ahead and save that now what you're gonna want to do is go to the same folder and overwrite the text document that you guys exported from the beginning and this is where you guys are gonna go back to db master what you're gonna want to do you're still on team kits i hope i'm going slow enough for you guys we're on team kits now we're gonna go import single table and we're gonna import the one that we just edited the the way you know is i look at the timestamp 749 it's 750 right now we're gonna go ahead and open it it's gonna take a while to load but once it does it says ready at the bottom left hand corner you guys are gonna go ahead and click save file now that's all edited by the time it saves all you're gonna need to do is import the db into the fifa editor which i'm gonna be showing you guys how to do in a few seconds it's not responding fantastic just give it a little bit of time seems like it's ready i'm gonna go ahead and save just in case so now this is all done it's all saved exit out of the db master open the fifa editor and you're still on fifa underscore ng db let's go ahead and import and you're gonna go ahead and import the db file that you guys just modified from the db master like i said keep looking at the timestamps to give yourselves like a judgment and see if it's actually what you guys have done and you're gonna go ahead and open that and once it's edited you're gonna see a little star over it and you can go ahead and save the file and load up the game and see if it actually worked so same thing to find out and see if everything worked go back to edit real players find small or whatever team you actually saved over and go ahead and check if all the changes were right i can see from this that things actually seem good as you can see the number four on the defender's kit is white exactly like how we changed it if we go ahead and rotate him we're gonna have the premier league badges on the side we're gonna have the premier league badges on the right sleeve as well and the premier league numbering and lettering so that's how you know everything works now that that's done you can go ahead and do it for all the kits you'd like to do apply what you did for the home kit on the goalkeeper kit on the away kit on the third kit now let's go ahead and show you guys the last step and this is going to be probably one of the more tedious steps. This was one that I almost like gave up on like 15,000 times. But if you push through it, you guys are going to have yourselves your custom club. So right now we've done the kits. We've done the names. We've done everything. We've done the lettering. Next up, what you're going to need to do is the flags, the banners, the TFO. And that's it, it honestly shouldn't take you long, but it, it's very tedious. Yeah, this is the final step. You're going to be importing everything your crests your flags your tifos 
everything. So that's why I'm saying it's a little bit tedious. But if you want to have a custom club, you guys are going to have to get through this. Head to the Legacy Explorer and remember that ID. I had you guys remember so many times. 112791. Search that up and it's going to bring you to this. A data folder. Open up the data folder. Click UI. Search image assets and you're going to open up crest there's a dark and a light crest 16 by 16 crest 32 by 32 crest 50 by 50 and what you're going to go ahead and do is open it open light as well open 16 by 16 open the light 16 by 16 open every single one and you guys are going to need to import your crest that you guys have actually created now i don't have anywhere to make a crest i made mine on photoshop so there's nothing really much i can tell you about that if you guys actually check over here it has all the kits the one that we actually fixed up so you're going to go ahead and start importing all the crests now the main one is going to be 256 by 256 the second one is going to be 16 by 16 One's going to be 32 by 32 and one's going to be 50 by 50. Now, for some reason, I don't know why it does this, but when I actually import the crest, it looks a little bit darker than I, I would actually have it. Now, I imported the wrong one, so that's probably why. But when I try to actually import my 256 by 256, for some reason, it's, it's just darker. I have no idea why. If anybody... Who knows anything? I really don't know what to do. I tried changing the file to a DDS to actually see like if that would work. I, I really, I really can't help you guys with that. It's gonna be dark, or if it's not dark for you, it's not dark for you guys. We're gonna go ahead and import everything: the 16 by 16, the 32 by 32. So make sure you keep resizing your crests, save them. I have everything in a folder, so it's all ready for you guys. And 50 by 50. 50, you're gonna go ahead and import that i'm just using the nobs fc logo so now once all those are imported you're gonna go ahead and save and you can actually close all the tabs now the image assets are good all your kits are imported hopefully i'm not gonna do the goalkeeper and away kit now you're gonna go ahead and go back to the data explorer and this is where you're gonna do all your banners your t4 remember the id as usual once again now you're gonna get the same thing here you're gonna have your your kits you're gonna open the worlds you're gonna click banner you're gonna click textures you're gonna do banner underscore one one two seven nine one and these are going to be your banners now you can export this edit them try to keep them within the you know the lines of these banners and import your custom banner set i already have one so i could just import it we have the nobs fc logo we have this i basically just took the template of the spell one and put my own in now that's good save it and now you're gonna have to import your flags that's always in the crowd your your supporters are going to have your flag so there's this there's everything that's a texture asset you guys are going to open and change if you don't feel like doing this you really don't have to do it you're just going to have spell flags or whatever team you saved over but i already have flags made so i'm going to import those i'm going to import this flag let's go you leopards we're going to import this one as well i have a bunch made so you guys are going to have to make them guys get creative i did i really had fun doing this and you're you're going to save as now press prop you're going to go ahead and click tfo textures and you're going to go ahead and open the tfo i already made my tfo so once you guys actually have tfos i i haven't seen one yet you guys can go ahead and import the tfo which is this it's just the nobs fc logo and you're pretty much done i don't think there's anything else you guys have to do i'm gonna go over everything once again but i'm pretty sure we should be done and i should be able to load up the game and you're gonna see everything the kits the logos the names everything should be done like i said guys i tried to keep it as in-depth as possible i am done everything we imported the kits we changed the names we changed the db we did everything there is to do so everything should be done if you wanted to create your own club now so once everything's done you can just go ahead and launch it fifa with mods or you can actually if you want to use 
more than just one mod make sure to save all the time so i'm saving right before we do export it as you export the mod i actually have to record this twice so i named it custom club you guys can name it whatever you'd like category just keep it organized i did kits and club and version 1.0 so go ahead and save that i'm gonna save it in my tutorial folder let's go custom club nobs fc and you should be done with the fifa editor right now so it's always good to save because if ever you want to come back and make some adjustments open up your fifa mod manager and this is where you're going to have all your mods if you're opening it up for the first time it should be blank but since obviously i play with a bunch of mods on pc you're going to have all this go to import mods from files at the bottom left and you should be able to find your dot fifa mod file tutorial folder whatever you want to call it custom club nobs fc and as you can see custom club by adam version 1.0 go ahead and click apply mod and the mod at the bottom has the highest priority so when you're dealing with mods try to decide which one you know has the, the highest priority and the custom club is there and now all you have to do is go ahead and launch it and you should be good to go so once you've loaded up fifa as you can see it works because i have the nobs fc career going and spal is actually the team i've saved over so let's go ahead and take a look at how spal looks or nobs fc let's do a champions league final with nobs fc and just see all the flags all the banners all of that nobs fc in all its detail there is our poorly designed home kit with the numbering as you can see the puma logo is actually still black that's something you need to change in the fifa kit editor let's start up the game we have the kits the poorly designed kits and let's see everything in action there we are nobs fc their first game as a professional club they're in the champions league final against inter milan as you can see the little champions league thing has the nobs fc logo if you take a look at the tifos you can see that there is nobs fc everywhere in the back you can see the nobs fc logo this is how nobs fc does look with that captain's armband obviously it's gonna change wherever you're playing if you're playing in the premier league then you're gonna have the premier league armband if you're playing right now in the champions league final you're gonna have the champions league patches but everything's there everything's good to go you have the colors at the top the colors on the radar as well everything looks good guys we're pretty much done as you can see there it is nobs fc we have the respect, we have the Premier League numbering, we have the Champions League thing. Whenever you jump into a competition, it's going to change. And that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to be leaving everything in the description down below from the FIFA editor tool. Hopefully, I can get the encryption key. If not, you guys can just go ahead, pause the video, check out encryption key FIFA 19, 20, 21. You're going to find it anywhere. The kit creator, the team kits editor, and the FIFA ID sheet for everything you guys need to go ahead and create your custom club. Shout out to the FIFA editing tool suite and the guys who actually made it. Everything to do about this is just possible because of them. If you guys have enjoyed this and are going to go ahead and actually make your own club, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any problems with it don't be afraid to ask me in the comments i usually try to answer every single comment i get on my videos but if i don't maybe some people are going to help you guys out thank you guys so much for watching hopefully this not too long video <laughs> i'm sure it's going to be pretty long and i will see you next time